Hello everyone, welcome back to SF Desi Panther. This is Amit, and in this video, we will talk about what is GitHub Copilot and how it is going to help you while you are writing the code. Before we go ahead and start looking into the GitHub Copilot, please do like, share, subscribe the channel because I have noticed that there are more than 75% people who are watching without subscribing this channel. So please subscribe that, that also helps us to uh, keep motivated. Now let's quickly talk about what GitHub Copilot is. GitHub Copilot is also known as your AI API programmer. And if we talk about how it is working, GitHub Copilot basically has been trained based on the billions, uh, billions of line of code which is available out there like in the free repositories or in the blogs or in uh, some other places which are easy to, uh, easy to read. GitHub Copilot also reads your comments on the file that you are editing or reads the code that you have edited and based on that it does provide you the suggestions. Basically, it doesn't write the code on behalf of you, but it does provide the next set of lines that you can use. It has been uh, powered by, powered by, or we can say that it is trained by the system which is uh, GPT-3, which is the generative pre-trained transformer. So we will see how it is going to help you to write the code uh, in the different languages like PHP, Python, Java, or JavaScript or apex or html this kind of suggestions it is going to uh, give you and it is very easy so uh, how like you are going to do that how it is going to work you all need to install an extension called github copilot over vs code uh, we will see this how to install that and uh, then we will also see there is one additional steps that you need to do in order to work with github copilot so how this github copilot works behind the scene what happens so basically this is your uh, open AI which we can say that our artificial intelligence which has been trained based on the uh, public code as you can see here on the bottom left right? this is a public code which is available on the internet that can be github gitlab or bitbucket uh, sort of other repositories then this is our github uh, and Microsoft which has been power uh, like uh, which have came up with the concept of this uh, github copilot so what happens whatever the file you are editing in right uh, whatever you have file this say that you are uh, having a javascript for fetching the pictures so first what it does it reads the context of your file okay whatever you have over here or whatever you have put the comments it will read then it will provide the suggestions to you if you are using that suggestion it is okay and if you are modifying the changes it is also improving the suggestions so what it is it is basically two way learning First, it provides you the suggestion, and then if you make any changes, it is learning from that as well. So we can say that GitHub Copilot is also learning from the developers, from you as well, whatever you are developing. Now, how this code suggestion works, as we already talked about, right? So what we have is, uh, you have the comments on your file, you have some sort of text that you have written. Based on that, it gives you the suggestion. It is not going to replace the developers or it is not going to write the code before um, on behalf of you. It is basically you. It, it will give you the suggestions and it will help you to write the code. A uh, copilot is not going to uh, give you the complete code and sometimes it might give you the code which you don't understand or you don't need. There are the huge cases I'll tell you as well. Uh, then uh, there is a problem that I have noticed till now is the lack of suggestions. Basically, Copilot doesn't uh, provide the exact uh, kind of code that you're looking for. In future, it might uh, get improved. Like as we said, it is learning or it is continuously learning from you. As we say that uh, it is still learning from millions and billions of developers out there who are developing and then billions of lines of code which is already available there. So now let's quickly uh, start working with this in our VS code. So first thing that we need to do is just go ahead and open your VS code. So I have opened this VS code uh, and next thing you need to do is just find this extensions which is either you can use control shift X or you can just click on this. Okay. For Windows it is control shift X. For uh, Mac OS it is command shift X. Okay. And then here in the search you need to search for GitHub Copilot. Once you see here there this is the one which is needed. Okay. You see here GitHub Copilot. No, don't install anything else. This is the one. 
I can see here I have got uh, like uh, uninstall, disable or uh, required. So how you will see is you will see install button over here. Okay. So once you will see install, after installing it will say that reload required, which is again the important thing you must need to reload. So just go ahead and click on this reload required button. I will also uh, reload this. So once you will reload, right? What it it will do is it will basically reopen your VS Code extension. Uh, not VS Code extension, your Visual Studio Code, and then based on the extensions that you have used or that you have installed in your VS Code, it might take some time to uh, take place. And even for GitHub Copilot, it will take time to uh, get uh, like uh, get loaded with all the libraries that GitHub has. So we can leave this as it is, and we also need to do one more thing. So for that, what we will do is. Just go ahead and open your Google here and what you need to do is you just need to type copilot.github.com This is the first thing that you need to do over here on the Google and uh, it is going to take you to the page which is for github copilot like you need to sign up for this if you don't sign up you won't be having the access because it is uh, not available for everyone it is only available for certain set of users just go ahead and click on sign up and uh, you click on sign up it will take you to the github page where it will ask you can see here it is saying uh, join the github copilot waitlist so here you have to uh, say, uh, say that uh, uh, you need to just request for that it will take i believe uh, two to three days to give you the access and uh, i already have requested and i have got the access uh, from the day it was uh, released so i already have this installed after uh, getting this once you have got the access you will see an email to your email and uh, to request this uh, as you know you must need to have this access which is access to github account to make sure that you have a github account and then the, you are uh, you are requesting the access once you have done this after requesting the access and receiving the email after a couple of days you just need to get back to your vs code in the vs code over here once you will launch your vs code so after installing this extension you will see the pop up like this you can see here it is saying that sign into github so if you click here it will ask you to allow just allow this and it will take you to the github page uh, into your github account and you need to sign in here it will ask the screen like this click on continue and it says that uh, now it has been successfully authenticated so you just need to click on open and in it is here you will see that open so now you have successfully logged into your github you can say here it is saying that agree just go ahead and select this element and say agree you are agreed to use the github copilot okay so basically once you have done this you will see there is an icon this is basically for your github copilot which you will be using to get the suggestions for your code that you are in now i am using a javascript file over here to show you the demo so if you go there you can see that here this javascript code has multiple uh, um, the code is already written inside this file if i go here on the bottom and uh, see here uh, whatever if i put a line or if i say that uh, compute date difference so you can see here it is uh, kind of it was just doing that uh, reading whatever i'm writing and if i say here uh, hit enter you can see it is saying that okay there is a function called get date difference and if you see here uh, you can select that and then it is going to give you the code if you see here so if you put a tab here if you hit a tab it is going to write the code for you the complete code so what you want here is you want the difference between two dates you've got a start date and end date and how it get to know it get to know based on your comment that you have put over here for example i'll say that uh, get all the images without alternate text and then i'll say that add the uh, add the add the red border color okay so this is what i have done and you will see here now what i have here you say get image i'll say that event hit enter and just wait here you see here on the below you see now what it is doing is it is just writing you the code you know that this is not the correct code you say here okay just remove this again hit enter you can see this is the set of code if you don't like just hover over and if you hover over here you can see here it is say that next so you can say next it is going to give you the next code next set of lines you say here accept or 
if you click here open copilot if you select here on the right hand side it is going to open uh, some sort of uh, i'll say here uh, say that suggestions different different suggestions so if you see whatever you like you just go ahead and uh, accept that solution suppose that i i do like this particular solution which is uh, having this one if i say accept solution it is going to give me this particular the code you can see here whatever i have got okay this is completely dependent upon what you are writing it is not going to give you anything uh, uh, by its own sometimes it uh, it is going to give you so that you are here on the bottom and then uh, currently it's not giving sometime it gives you the uh, gives you the code to write the custom javascript events okay suppose that you are saying that uh, get tweet uh, let this, let's say that we are saying that get tweet timelines from twitter okay this is what i'm putting the comment if i say here hit enter it says that get to uh, tweet timeline this is the method okay, i'll say okay accept it now it is just uh, fetching some code and you see here it is simple it is not uh, giving us anything else it says that okay tweet timeline is kind of twitter.com and whatever the twitter handle you have it is just putting some uh, kind of things by its own now if you just go ahead and again remove whatever it has i don't need and then again hover over click on this open copilot you can see the multiple solutions over here so you have got these multiple solutions right whatever you want you can just go ahead and use that solution sometimes if you don't want to put the comment say that what i want is i will say that fetch tweet timeline okay i'm just putting a method name over here it says that okay you need a fetch tweet timeline go ahead I give the time uh, give the time to your twitter and it will say okay now okay it is kind of uh, sometimes uh, it had uh, read the previous code and that was it is saying that okay this is some sort of what it has got okay that's it is giving the suggestion that is not useful for me what let's say go to the complex things what i will say is i will say uh, i want to have a, some some sort of say that binary search okay i'll say i want to have a code for binary search because that is the algorithm it is going to give you the suggestion and it will write the complete code for you you can see here you have got the complete code for binary search let's say that you wanted to have a quick sort so you say that quick sort it is giving you the suggestion right based on whatever you have written it says that give quick sort just go ahead and see whatever you have and then it is going to give you the complete uh, complete thing over the complete code over here so that is the simple suggestions or the complex suggestions that it uh, that, that basically github copilot gives you to kind of based on whatever you have or whatever file you are in okay suppose that you wanted to create a variable I, i'll say that i wanted to create a variable which i say that event and this is a type of okay whatever we have say that event okay now if you hover here what it says that it it will tell you what an event can have even can have a label okay it can have a name value Say that i am putting some sort of things over here just to give the context to my github copilot say that i am saying that uh, start date okay let's see what it is going to give now okay so we will have start date then it is giving end date if you keep entering like what is the image for an event what is the description then what is the location what is event id so these are the some of the suggestions based on what you wanted to write so you say that source or you say that is past event okay you see here right Th these are the kind of variables that we usually have on the events it is if coming event or whatever we have then is current event then it is keep on uh, um, in that we say that organizer so it is going to now it is going to work on the organizers organizer event so basically that is how your things work right if you are in javascript this is how it works now if you are in your html file let's say that i'm here on this file so if i hit enter over here this github copilot will read the entire file and based on reading it is going to give me you can see here it is giving me the complete code for writing some sort of headers or some sort of things okay if i say control tab i got this complete thing okay now if if you are here say that you are under this uh, some sort of event you are having some lightning layout okay then it it has read okay let let it uh, read the code we are not getting over here right so uh, nothing is here let's say that we are saying that uh, uh, large padding or some some or say that heading so we are saying that we wanted to have the heading over here 
So if you wait for a couple of seconds, sometimes it does take much time. Again, this is also uh, the drawback for us. So if you see here, it is saying that you have got this heading. You, you don't need this part, right? But you can use this heading part. So that is how you can have, say that you wanted to have an image. So you say that whatever, um, not like this, say that uh, emails with uh, say that over and uh, round title, let's say kind of thing, see what what it is giving us. So th this is not the correct what we want is so we can just hover over and then we say, okay, we don't have anything. We say control enter and again, it is going to give you some sort of solutions that you might want it. Uh, you might be interested in. You can see here it is having some sort of uh, solutions for you. You can just go ahead and uh, read if you need. You can just go ahead and use that. So that's how your GitHub Copilot works. Like I'm really enjoying it and I will highly recommend you all to just go ahead and uh, try this out and you will definitely enjoy it. Again, before I go ahead, please do like, share, subscribe the channel and uh, we will meet into the coming videos where we are going to talk about very cool things. Thank you.